Hey what's up guys this is my video on how to install custom ROMs on the HTC One M8 the international variant and in this video I will be installing the Android Revolution ROM. In order to install this ROM you must be rooted and should have a custom recovery installed. If you don't know how to do that check the description. And uh, installing this ROM will erase all your apps and data so make sure you back up everything important. Once done hit link 2 from the description that will take you to this page on XDA from where you can download the ROM. Download the ROM and transfer it to the internal memory card. Once done turn off your device. Once the device is off hit the volume down and the power button continuously until you get into the bootloader mode. Here use your volume keys to navigate and power button to select. So go to recovery and press the power button. This will take us to the recovery mode. On the recovery mode go to wipe and swipe to perform a factory reset. This will erase all your data. Once done go back. Go to advanced wipe. Check Dalvik cache and cache and swipe to wipe. Now go back. Back. Go to install and uh, navigate to wherever you have saved your ROM file. And in case if you want to flash ROMs from your SD card, you can go to your external SD card from here. Okay, so coming back, select the ROM and swipe to confirm flash. So this is the ROMA installer. We already performed a full wipe, so not needed here. This ROM is ART compatible, that is Android runtime, which makes the overall performance of the device better. I will be covering all the details in my full review of this ROM. Hit next. So here HTC One International variant. And here you need to choose the Google apps that you want to install. Additional applications here, check to install and these are all optional. You can check to install and uncheck to skip. Here I want improve EXT performance, that's it. Next, I'll choose Super User by Chainfire. Next we have Sense 6 Toolbox, but I guess this will not work with the ART version. Yeah, so I will be back with you once the installation is complete. So guys the installation is complete. Now hit reboot system now. This will reboot the device and the first boot will take some time. Be patient and I will be back. So we have successfully installed the Android Revolution ROM with ART, so it's keeping the basic setup. Let's go to settings, about, software details, and as you can see this is the Android Revolution ROM, and tapping the build number 7 times will allow you to enable developer options. So going on to the developer options, just to show you that the ART is compatible. So choosing ART here. Okay, so we need to reboot to optimize all the apps to ART. So I will be back once we get back. Ok guys the android runtime has been changed from Dalvik to art. All the apps are working fine as you can see we don't have any crashes. So I will be coming out with the full review very soon stay tuned for that and you guys have a great time.